This is my friend Hendrik. He's a voice actor and voiceover artist from Belgium. And recently, Hendrik left his job and went full freelance as a voiceover artist. I built a high converting portfolio website for Hendrik so that he can generate freelance clients or even work for his dream company. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to design, brand, and develop this portfolio website. Now, let's dive straight into how I did this. The first thing I did was I instructed Hendrik to go and buy his domain name.com. So Hendrik went and bought hendrikdeputer.com and now he owns his own domain name. He can now dominate SEO search traffic for his name, but also his website's gonna look a lot more professional with his own name.com. It's gonna build trust. Now let's go through the wireframes. So here we have a hero section, a simple value proposition, uh, an image of the freelancer. We're gonna have an, a bit of an explanation about who he helps, a couple of call to actions. We didn't end up using these client logos, but they're always very useful to have if you can put four or more logos on your homepage. We have a services section here with a video. We're gonna have a portfolio section here, some client testimonials, a let's get in touch section, and a footer. So once the wireframe had all the necessary components and content that we need to build high converting portfolio, the next stage was to actually add some branding into this. So I started by making the brand book. Here we can see Hendrik's branding guidelines. Now, first off, we have color, and color is one of the most important aspects of your personal branding. Having nice, recognizable colors, strong colors, can help differentiate you in the, the YouTube feed, the social media, Instagram, TikTok, across everywhere that people, that you wanna gain attention, your branding and your brand colors need to help you stand out. This is why colors like black and yellow go really well together as brand colors, because those two colors represent uh, things to draw attention, like uh, a warning sign. These colors are used to grab the user's attention and I think would work really well for Hendrik. For typography, I went with Helvetica Neue. Uh, this is just very, a very flexible font and it's very clean and powerful. And I believe that because of Hendrik's voice, it's bold, it is dynamic and it's flexible. This is the right font for Hendrik. But of course, there could be many different fonts that you could choose. Now for the logo, it's really easy and I actually made a video about this whole process. But basically what you do is you write the name of the freelancer or yourself as a designer. You color the first or last name in your main brand color. Then underneath the name, you write professional voiceovers, design and development. Even my own logo follows the same process. It just tells the user what it is that you do in your service. And finally, you wanna add something that makes you unique. And in this case for Hendrik, I added a sound wave because he's a voice actor. So this makes sense for him. Look at how we can use images and the right filter. We have a nice professional email signature here to go underneath the emails. Now the next step was to get Hendrik to record his 60 second elevator pitch video. This is really important. Have a 60 second elevator pitch of you and your services introducing yourself, telling people how you can help them. Now, I sat down with Hendrik to help him write his script so that we could make the most impact possible. And then we filmed it at my apartment in the little makeshift studio that we actually created. And it was so much fun and just good times. And once we were done filming that video pitch, it was time to start designing the actual website. Let the fun begin. So as you will notice here, this is very similar to the wireframe. If we put the wireframe and the together, we can see that actually they're using the same layout, but with the branding applied, everything looks so much nicer. Here we have the hero section, the voice services, the portfolio section, testimonials, and the contact form. And also I've added the email down here. So as you can see, it's very clean, very simple and straightforward, and clients prefer this, okay? We don't need to do anything too crazy with animations, crazy or offset augmented designs. This is simple because it serves a purpose and that purpose is to attract leads and convert them to being Hendrix clients. Now to develop this website, we took things into Webflow. Now Webflow is the platform that I use to develop all my client websites. And it's also the platform that I recommend that anyone learn web development with. And as you can see here, we have Hendrix portfolio is being developed in Webflow. And scroll down and you can see everything here has been developed in Webflow. Now, the really cool thing is that I built this website for Hendrik, not from scratch, but I actually used my own template. And I've made this template free for anyone who wants to clone it. It's this one here, it's called Easy Clean Design Portfolio. 
I'm gonna put the link in the description. But what I did is I basically had this project ready to go in my dashboard, you can clone it. And from that, I customized it to look like this. It's a very similar layout to what we have ended up with Hendrix website. By using this template, I was able to customize it at Hendrix branding and come up with a completely unique website for Hendrix. And I was replacing components and customizing components that were already there on the template. So again, feel free to go, follow the link, clone the template and have a play around yourself about building your own portfolio if that interests you. And there we have it. Hendrix portfolio is developed. We've gone from wireframes to branding to web design to ultimately building and developing in Webflow a very simple, high converting portfolio for a freelancer. Now, this portfolio can be applied to any industry. It is especially relevant for designers like me, who want to attract clients or get jobs in design agencies or work with clients. But many other industries don't know that a portfolio website like this would really help them gain more opportunities, gain more visibility, and actually gain more trust and authority in their industry. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to help you with your portfolio. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you found some value in it. And there's gonna be more videos like this coming up about portfolio websites, how to attract clients, how to get your dream job using the portfolio website. Stay tuned for more.